this. Uh, and he, took, he made a phone call to a gentleman. He's like, hey, I want to be, be a Luger. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But he said, I want to be a Luger. How can I become a Luger? And the guy was like on the phone, he, you know, at the Olympics. And the guy was on the phone. He said, okay, how old are you? He's like, I'm 28. He's like, 28? You're too old. You're, 10 year, you're 20 years too late. Get off my phone or something very rude. He ended up going to another guy. That guy ended up getting him in. He wanted to give up while he was practicing. Ultimately, it led him to a gold medal. And the other guy was like, wow, you actually made it. Yeah. He took action. He took action with his goals. He took action with everything. You know, when Jack Van Canfield, when he started first writing, he actually wrote, um, he wrote a couple of entries and a couple of letters to different places, like at the L.A. Parent Magazine. And he didn't know how to write it. He didn't know what to say or anything. Uh, but he actually wrote a letter in terms of, uh, uh, what is it, in terms of putting his chicken soup for the soul book in a magazine. So this is what he said, quote, Dear Jack, I would like to submit this article for publication in L.A. Parent. I have enclosed a brief bio. I would like you to print the little blurb I included on my new book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, with my article. If you would like a copy of the book, I would be more than happy to send one to you. Thanks for your time. Right. So then the guy replied. He said, I was annoyed by your facts. How dare you tell me to include the little blurb on your book? How could you assume I'd be interested in this little bit of uns oh god word processing whatever? Then I read the article. Needless to say, I'll run your little blurb and then some. I was moved by this exercise, and I'm sure it will touch the hearts of our 200,000 plus readers from here to San Diego. Has it ever appeared anywhere in, the, in my demographic? If so, where? I look forward to working with you on raising children, not flowers. So Jack didn't know how to send that letter to begin with. He just sent it. It's all about taking action. But during that time, he learned something. This is, this is what experience is. You know, it's kind of like a failure. It was an almost failure, but it turned into a massive, massive gain. But in the process, he actually learned how to write letters to different publicists in different magazines. Like Sylvester Stallone, you know, it's crazy. He was a struggling actor, right? Uh, and he bought like a newly purchased TV and he actually saw a fight between Ali and Wepner. And Ali obviously mopped him up. And after that, Sylvester Stallone kept thinking, he's like, you know what, should I just write this script? I need to write this script, I need to write this script. He said, you know what, I'm just gonna pick up a pencil, I'm gonna get this pencil, I'm gonna write it. He began writing it and finished three days later. He had completed the script for Rocky which went on to win three Oscars, including one for the best picture, thus launching Stallone's multi-million dollar movie career. And I just watched Creed just two nights ago, and it's remarkable just how astounding of an actor Rocky is and an up-and-coming actor in Michael B. Jordan. Just astounding. He took action. He, he was watching Ali and Wepner, who I just mentioned earlier. And then he said, you know what, I'm just going to write this script. He finished it in three days and he ended up catapulting his career into absolute stardom. Which I just watched two days ago, which Ali just died two days ago. And it was just amazing. It's just amazing. It's all about taking action. It's kind of like the guy who keeps going to church and says, God, I really want to win the lottery. God, why aren't you going to give me any money? God, why are you going to do this? Why are you going to do this? Why are you going to do it? He kept asking God questions, and he went there week after week after week until after the fourth week, he actually went there, and the, he heard the whisper through, an, through uh, a choir or something, and he said, you know what, just buy the lottery ticket, take action. You keep asking, 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 why aren't you taking action? You know, people, whatever you're sitting on right now, you need to take action and take action immediately, because once you do, Everything will become aligned. Stuff will start coming into your life that will, you, that what you will need to keep going forward. And the failure is the most beautiful part. It's the most rewarding part. And it's also the part that you need the most. Because along this way, look at, look at Henry Ford. Okay, Henry Ford, how many times did he fail at his business in the early 1900s? Go ahead. I want you to look that up. How many times did he fail? How many times was he bankrupt? I want you to look that up too. 
And now he's still pushing after years of, you know, after years of his passing. How much money is he still? But he's still pushing a billion dollar industry. It's amazing, isn't it? With that being said, people, take action. Take action and take action now. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. Uh, The next principle will definitely be coming up shortly. And I will take action into reading the entire book. With that being said, guys, if you want to join in the conversation at AJ in Thailand, until then, have a wonderful time from all around the world. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.